everyone, Cassius here, welcoming you back to the Shakespeare Minute. Today we continue the countdown of Shakespeare's 31 most villainous characters with villain number 30, Saturninus from Titus Andronicus. Now I can hear a lot of you saying, who? Because even if you have a passing familiarity with Titus Andronicus, Saturninus is not likely to be one of the characters you know, unless you have actually read or seen the entire thing. This is because Saturninus is a somewhat peripheral character, one who I touched on in my list for Pursued by a Bear of Shakespeare's 20 most underrated characters. Saturninus is a difficult guy to wrap your head around because, unlike most villains on this list, he does not have a diabolical plan. He just doesn't. Rather, we meet him in Act 1, Scene 1, when he's trying to become Emperor of Rome. Friends that have been thus forward in my right, I thank you all and here dismiss you all and to the love and favor of my country, commit myself, my person, and the cause! This is him campaigning against his younger brother Bassianus. When Titus comes home from the war and the people want him to be emperor, however, Saturninus flips out, but Titus, ever the slave of duty, recommends that Saturninus be crowned emperor since he is the oldest son of the last guy to have the job. Fair enough, but Saturninus immediately forgets this in an epically amazing part a bit later in Act 1, Scene 1, where Titus literally kills his youngest war hero son out of loyalty to Saturninus, and Saturninus responds by calling him a traitor. Because of his incredible insecurity in terms of getting this job and keeping it, he's jealous of the fact that Titus had so much power in giving him the job, and he thinks that Titus is dangerous. The fact that some of Titus's sons didn't like this and didn't think Saturninus should be the pick well, that just makes it worse, and Saturninus is fully in the belief that Titus, even though he just killed his youngest war hero's son out of loyalty to him, is a traitor. No, Titus, no! The Emperor needs her not. Nor her, nor thee, nor any of thy stock. I'll trust by leisure him that mocks me once. Thee never! Nor thy traitorous, haughty sons, confederates, all thus to dishonor me. But go thy ways, go! This guy is not just ignorant, he is willfully ignorant. And later in the play, he is used as a means to get rid of some of the good guys. People will often frame other characters, and Saturninus being the impulsive, insecure leader that he is, immediately will execute them. There is no mental manipulation being used on Saturninus himself. Characters are taking aim at each other, using him as a weapon, without having to compromise him mentally first. He is not just ignorant, as I said, he is willfully so. Lots of people die at his hands. It's his mismanagement of Rome that allows all of the absolute horror to happen. When Lucius, one of Titus's sons, is banished from Rome, he comes back to take his revenge on Saturninus and Rome as a whole, not just the individual characters who we'll get to later on this list, I promise you, but it's Rome itself that seems to let this happen. And it's not just something out of negligence, he really does seem to have an edge to him that's not as politically calculated as it might be, but it's still pretty bad. Saturninus' crimes are well, besides the willful idiocy, incredible ingratitude towards people who have helped him, as well as executing several innocent people throughout the course of the play. His motivation, insecurity, and a bit of idiocy there as well. And that brings him to villain number 30. He'd be higher up if he ever had a plan for himself, and of course he does try to get to the bottom of things a little bit too late. That keeps him out of the higher ranks, but because of the bad things he does do, he gets onto this list. Until tomorrow, I'm Cassius. Think of the world. Was ever seen 
an emperor in Rome, thus overborne, troubled, confronted thus, and for the extent of equal justice, used in such contempt! Oh, by the way, people have been asking how exactly these villains are ranked. It's not in order of my favorite villains, it's not in order of any sort of uh, other consideration of like how well known they are or anything like that. This is just the list of villains ordered by villainy. Sometimes they're the villain of their play, sometimes they just have one particular villainous act. I have ranked them holistically based on uh, my feeling about them, so by the time we get to Halloween, we are going to be in the depths of villainy. We're not in the depths yet. We're, we're in the shallows of villainy and, and jerkishness right now. But we're going to get to the depths of villainy, I promise you, by October 31st.